Mistress Philip. seems like seeing a ghost and explaining to you what I saw it is like unraveling a mystery. Everything went by so fast and all I remember was seeing the shadow outlines of people and then the darkness swallowed me up. I let my mind be invaded by all the things I used to be afraid of that had suddenly appeared. And it all seemed like a delusion. So, was I scared? I have goosebumps now talking about it. I was lightheaded. My palms were soaked. I felt my heart pounding in my throat. And then the adrenaline kicked in. So what do you think? Pain is so strange. A coyote that kills your little dog. Falling off your bike as a kid and scraping your knee. Watching helplessly as a loved one lies dying. Then pain arrives. Bang. It's right there. It's very real. And to anyone who's watching this, you, you look dumb. Like you've been suddenly made a fool and there's no cure for it unless there's someone there who knows what you're going through someone who's someone who can help you that's why you're here 
We understand. We want to help you. But we need you to drag your thoughts away from whatever it is that's bothering you. We need some details, Suzanne. Please. You don't mind if I call you Suzanne? Why would I mind? That's my name. Okay, then, Suzanne. Let's go back. How did your morning start? Okay, okay. Um, morning. Uh, well, it was slow. We had a few patients, just a few. The ones we had were mostly stable. How did you get involved? How did I get involved? Mm -hmm. I work there. I was just doing my job when this shitstorm fell on me. Mm. Okay. Have you ever seen this man? Before today, I'd never seen that face in my life. This is the man that saved your life, right? Yes. But what does that matter? He's dead now. I know it's been a hell of a day for you, Suzanne. A lot of people died. And you were there. So we're just trying to figure out why you were there. Aren't there security cameras? Why can't you just check the tapes? I. I'm exhausted. I want to go home and feed my cat. Oh, well, you get to do that pretty soon, Suzanne. But what Agent Holman is trying to say here is that we just really trying to figure out how you are still alive. Yeah, and I want to know if she knows anything about the assassination attempt. Just give me a second here, OK? I'm, I'm getting into that. Look, what do you want me to say? Why don't you just tell me so I can say it, sign a statement, and go home? It doesn't work that way. <laughs> As you know, the hospital has been closed for, yeah, for a couple of years. All of the ER is up and working. No video, unfortunately. We're having a delicate problem here. You see, we can't secure a positive ID on here. So we can't just let you leave. Check the personnel roster. I'm an ER nurse at Redondo Coast Medical. Well, the hospital's database has been corrupted. But we do have a couple of guys working on it. Might take some time. So how is this supposed to work? You want me to tell you what happened, but we can't even get past who I am? I didn't do anything wrong. I don't know that yet, do let's we? Just, just let's, you guys, let's all take a deep breath. Hmm? Let's go back to the beginning. 